Hey everybody, this is Caleb, and uh, I'm here for another tutorial. This one's going to be a great one. I just got back from the gym, uh, pumping some iron, getting all buff and stuff, and uh, buff and stuff. <laughs> well, anyways, we're, this is going to be an exciting tutorial, I can tell already, because it, um, it's, it's going to be exciting. Trust me on this one. It's going to be great. So let's go ahead and hop right into this, like a little bunny hops along the, the sidewalk. Um, yeah. Anyways, this one's going to be on keyframing and uh, the basics of keyframing. And uh, there's millions of tutorials out on YouTube about this, but um, I decided to make one of my own because I got a few requests from people, um, specifically a guy named History Star with the, um, I think the T's are sevens. So I got a request from him. We've been chatting back and forth, and uh, he just needed some help. So I'm going to make this one kind of for him and for anybody else who needs it. So, um... <clears throat> First, I guess I'm going to start out with what the definition of keyframing is. And basically, a keyframe is a the starting and ending point of a certain transition between maybe a video effect or a media generator in Vegas specifically. Or just, just you can basically keyframe anything in Sony Vegas for the most part. And um, so, like I said, basically everything can be keyframed. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in a um, solid color. And, wow, that's bright red. I like the bright red. That's really cool, bright red. All right. So um, now that we got a bright red on our screen, I'm going to drag in a black. Um, and we're going to size the red down a little bit by dragging out. All right, just so we can move it and you can see it move. All right, so this is the event pan crop window, just to let you know how I got there. You click on the event pan crop on your uh, timeline thingamajigger. Um, go ahead and click on that. And you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. And uh, you guys might be familiar with this. If not, then um, I would suggest going back to the basics of Sony Vegas. Maybe I can make a tutorial on that. But all right. So uh, down here in the middle, bottom middle of your screen, you'll see a whole timeline. Now this timeline is from 0 to 10 seconds. And that represents <clears throat> the length of your media gener that you dragged in, generator that you dragged in. That's what that represents. And it doesn't represent the entire timeline down here in your Vegas project, just the media generator. So um, down here you also have things kind of like in a Windows media player looking thing. Um, you got the first keyframe, you can go all the way back to the first keyframe. <clears throat> you can go, you can jump in between keyframes if you have more than one. Um, you have the last keyframe. And then you got these two, which are add and delete keyframes. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. So uh, let's say I want to make this box, this red box up in the right corner of my screen in the preview window. Make, let's say I want to make that move from the top right of our or top left of our screen to the bottom right of our screen. So now what we have to do is we have to position this up in the top left of our screen, and I got to turn on so I can move freely. So I'm going to position this up in the top left of our screen. That's about good. Now, if you now depending on how long or how fast you, or how slow you want it to move to the bottom, that's going to depend where you put your keyframe. So say I want it to get to the bottom right corner of my screen in a total of two seconds. I'm going to come over here, put my uh, timeline cursor on two seconds, and I'm going to hit add a keyframe. That's the add keyframe button. You can also delete that by clicking the delete one, or re-add it, or delete it, or add it, or delete it. You get the point. I'm going to keep it added. So um, now I want it to make it move to the bottom right of my screen. So I'm going to drag this to the bottom right, and bam. Now it's automatically going to do that. So if we close this, I'm going to make it so it previews on auto. Now if I play through this, it's going to automatically play. All right, but that that's great, but uh, I think we could do a little bit more with this. Now, let's say we want to add, um, we want to make it go down um, to the middle. We want to make it go up to the right. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. We want to make it come from the top left down to the middle and back up to the top right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this keyframe by clicking on it and delete button on your keyboard or the delete button in the pan crop window. 
So I'm going to go to my first keyframe, and uh, that's good. So let's say I want after two or after a second, which is right here. I want it to be in the bottom or in the middle of my screen. So go ahead and drag that to your middle of your screen. All right, that's great. Now at two seconds, we drag our thing to two seconds. And you can either, oh, by the way, you can either add a keyframe or you can automatically change something up in the, the crop window. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that up. And as you can see, it automatically adds a keyframe on my timeline. So I'm going to drag that up to the top right corner. I'm going to close this and I'm going to play through it. You can see it'll go down to the middle and back up to the top. All right, that's pretty sweet. Well, it's it's pretty basically sweet. <laughs> I get it. Basic sweet. All right. Anyways, um wow, I'm full of corny jokes today. This is horrible. Anyways, um so I'm going to go ahead and delete I think I can delete these. All right. Now I'm going to go over something kind of uh I don't know, it's just, it kind of helps with your videos. Um, I'm going to drag in, I guess, pink. And um, so, as I showed you before, you can, uh, oops, I'm going to close this. You can keyframe your stuff and whatever, that's great. But if you look at the keyframes, you can click on it and right click on it. And you'll see you got linear, fast, slow, smooth, sharp, and hold. Those are different keyframe interpretations, how it, um, like, I, uh, I don't know how to demonstrate this, but this video that I'm going to show you right now. Alright, that showed you the different interpretations of the keyframes. So, um, as you can see, like linear is just straightforward and fast kind of zooms forward and then slows down and then zooms forward you know it's just different keyframes you can goof around with those and figure out what you like the best and and whatnot so um well guys that's basically all i have for you um the thing with keyframing is you just gotta just gotta experiment and um one last thing you can also experiment with video effects those can also be keyframed so if i drag in um uh, fill light, maybe? Okay, maybe not. Anyways, so you can drag in what all those video effects and you can uh, keyframe those the same way, only they have a lot more options. So, um, yeah, guys, that was, uh, was a pretty interesting tutorial right there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't been to my website, um, go to www.promotionfilms.webs.com. I don't have a domain name. I'm thinking about buying one here soon, but um, you can go ahead and visit there. The uh, website will be in the description. Um, if you guys subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'm thinking about having a contest after 100 subscribers. I think I'm at about 50 now, somewhere around there. So if I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a contest. And I'm thinking for the prize of the contest for first place, I have a little uh, secret saved up for all you Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 fans, which I am. Um, I have a secret saved up. Uh, it has to do with Sony Vegas, so you guys can use your imagination for now. And uh, if I get 100 subscribers, I will uh, hold a contest for you guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Caleb with Promotion Films signing off. See you later, guys.